Hi guys, it's a new week and we are back with another exciting episode of Trending GH. Do you know Wendy Shea's net worth? It's a new week and there is another Hollywood actor in town for the year of return. We have so much to discuss when we come back. Hi guys, welcome, welcome. So we're gonna start this week's episode on quite a sad note. I mean, it's 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 not a good topic that we like to talk about, you know, people passing away. And sadly this week we got news of the passing of um once famous Ghanaian striker Agogo. Junior Agogo, I remember him for his head. No, in how, a bad and how, way. And how and the how, ladies were all over him. Yeah, was, yeah. Was yeah. Was and he made yeah. Santo become cool. Mm -hmm. Having Santo and having a big head become cool. Trying to say, I'll go go walk till Kim Promise could run. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened. But anyways, mm. it, it's quite sad. Yeah, it's really it's sad. sad. I mean, uh, we knew he suffered stroke, mm -hmm. uh, battled up for quite quite a while, uh, was able to recover. Was able to walk around, do a lot of things normally. Yeah, especially then, when BBC did that yeah. interview and he looked and so healthy. Suddenly we woke up to that sad news. So uh, what we can say is our, co our condolences to the family. Mm -hmm. uh, may so we, rest in yeah, peace. may you so rest in peace. And we are with them. The whole of Ghana has been mourning since the news came out. Yeah, yeah. and if there's anything I didn't think Jay threw light on before we started is, you know when he, he did an interview with BBC, he did say that people are not even reaching out to him anymore. Since and he now went. he's gone and there's the outpour of love. Mm -hmm. Then again, the lesson of give people their flowers when they're still alive, people. Don't yeah. love them now that they are gone. You can love them when they're still alive and they need right. you. It's very important. Right, I mean. <sighs> it's sad, but... Um, I'm sure the family will announce funeral preparations mm -hmm. and arrangements if they'll do it in Ghana. But if for anything, you know, stay tuned and keep logged to www.tamihadebra.com. We'll give you the, the latest regarding that. So let's move on from that sad note to something that was quite hilarious and hot mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> what would that be? What would that be? Juliette oh, And Miss yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I think that was interesting. I that that is the back, the how do you, how do I put it? Of the century, the, the clap back of the, the clap back of the century. Me, the, the grid, <laughs> the, the degradation. <laughs> it was like a whole book. Like I can write, I can count at least twenty. But I mean, I think it, she wasn't saying it just to be spiteful. I it, think she was. I mean, you know, there's was, a whole new yeah, a, a lot of things had, media. A lot of things had piled up for Juliet. I mean that. Uh, she felt it was too much, and so she reacted to sure, not sure. just her, but what that that commentary represent yeah, re yeah. represented for her because uh, she feels uh, for too long people have always been run that same commentary. Yeah, the for same thing. So oh, wow. it, it wasn't so like she sent the message to one person, but in it was sending yeah, it across. It was so to yeah. And yeah, I also I also like, feel she she like took time to address this because she has a book out there that talks about it yeah. and then she feels like if you really want to know what happened exactly. i have done this so go and read about I it mean, before yeah, you you know yeah, come no and point. say anything about it yeah. but then i have yeah. given the platform and, and you also, are still not devil's advocate a lot of people have been leaving comments on social media or this general this journalist but i mean that's their style that's their content yeah, that's and everywhere in the world there are content that, like, like that that are like that so <clears throat> It's not a matter of oh, Ghana DNA. I'm professionalism. TV, so, no, no, it's, it's a not. style that's, of the show. It that's wasn't the nature some of the show. The person show. is supposed to. Uh, uh, post. Yeah, so mm. I mean, so, I mean it's, 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 it's either style, you like it or not. There's that style in Ghana, yeah, especially yeah. cheese shows. Unfortunately, like that. that's the style that most people like. And um, that is what what my point is. That's what even Ghanaians are buying into. Yeah. Put, yeah, put, is, put the, the serious news there. Try to. The same story, but try to do it in a more polite and more polished way and trust me people would wouldn't not want to listen read. or even watch they won't but watch add this petty remarks and humor to it and, and now it's everybody's on famous it. yeah. so, so, I mean, so that's one of my highlights uh from from that yeah. instance and uh well 
I hope Julia has said her piece. But and, but then again, I think okay. it was still promotional work for her book because yeah, yeah. Or with all her relationships, she's kind of kept it cool and not had to say anything. But now it's everything. It's out there. Go and buy it instead of speculating and making up your own assumptions. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, we 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 hope. I am um, Miss Agogo Pemi. Stop calling him. <laughs> no, uh, the photo, but, but the has, photo grade is she, what's funny. She has an interesting name, Akosia Farmer. To Akosia Farmer. Mm. Yeah. Oh, AKA Akosia Sexy. Mm. <laughs> so wow. she's a. Uh, you know what's funny is how. <laughs> say she's an actress, she's a host, a, a digital active, marketing activist, oh. and stuff like that. So. It seems she's been around. Uh, For a while. For a while. But this Ahoko Pemin thing is probably the one that, that is we are going shooting to shooting her yeah. into the she's town. Known for that Please, what am I? I'm what? Ahoko what? Ahoko Blackie. <laughs> I don't think you're Ahoko yet. I think what makes Ahoko is the hair and the lashes. <laughs> You don't have that yet, so let us. <laughs> Growing up, we used to call that corn tutu. That type of corn. You used to call it what? Corn tutu. Oh, corn tutu. Oh, tutu. tutu. <laughs> yeah, <it's>, um... <laughs> that is a blast from the past. We call our cocoa pear name that was corn tutu oh, back yeah. then. Yeah, because it's a type of uh, like a cock or a uh, hen. Yeah, always. They, they never have their hair. Yeah, together. it's always red. They were like corn kijo. Like, corn kijo yeah. yeah. and then. <laughs> Guys, we'll be right back. Hey guys, and we are moving on to our first segment, and guys, it is what were they thinking? What? And I, I mean, I, I don't even get it. Right. Publishers, writers, even General Mosquito himself. <laughs> Listen to the headline. Up close with General Mosquito on World Mosquito Day. Wonder what they even wrote about and let me know what they were thinking. Right. Anyway, uh, I think this one is also a bit of what was she thinking. <laughs> a little uh, bit. So a this week, one of the interviews that really uh, went viral was the one with Wendy Shay. I think he, she was on um, uh, TV Africa. Uh, TV Africa TV Africa Africa been in the news. Yeah. It's good for them. It's good yeah. for yeah, them. It's good for them. So one of the presenters, Larry, I believe that's the name, uh, yeah. interviewed Wendy and asked uh, since she joined uh, the record label, uh, what she's gained materially, uh, yeah. Uh, and I like the way she started. Material, you mean the material, material stuff? stuff. <laughs> I, I thought she was going to rubbish the question and say, No, this is not so serious. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be uh, answered. I, 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 yeah, I don't think people should. And then it switched, and uh, uh, she named some few items that are iPad, parts, like iPhone, yeah. camera. my camera. No, first of all, I, really I think, think it's also Wendy because the presenter asked, also told asked, like, along something that like. Line. Cameras. Cameras, phones. Mm -hmm. So maybe she wanted to go uh, along, along, with along, them. along that. Yeah, she you said know. everything every girl her age can get or can afford. She can buy yeah, it for know, herself. First of all, so. I really feel like Wendy needs to learn how to do interviews. I don't know if the management has to take up on it because she's been f like faulting with her interviews with her. Like since, but then, since, since she came. But then when, if it um, ends up giving buzz to her, maybe I that's, mean, her, I don't think like that's what she At this she moment, enjoys. I don't even think it's healthy buzz. Oh, come because on. In Ghana, every like, bus is healthy. Bus. Well, like this is even the bus. best bus. This yeah, kind yeah. of bus. Oh, yeah, Ghana yeah. yeah. for. <laughs> one of the questions that I uh, think uh, uh, baffled me a little bit was uh, the one about network. I don't know why the presenter asked exactly. that. Exactly. And I don't know uh, why Ghana were coming for her since you had to go and look yeah, at it. I mean, well, that question was. No, I also feel like, you know, I mean, I've, as far as I know, celebrities don't, are not the ones calculating their network. When Rihanna was agent, uh, exactly. uh, richest female, she didn't even know about I mean, Forbes. But no normal person was around knowing his name. Yeah, yeah. Like, they I mean, they normal. make the money, not count the Let money. Let me be honest with you guys. I was on the side of everybody saying that she should know her net worth until I mean, I was like, Google what net worth is, and then exactly. when I read the things that you need to you, deduct and, and add, yeah, in, and what your manager will take and your endorsement deals and probably has to be. For a it's, it's, it's not it's not time. something she can find online, but it yeah. was online though. Yeah, the thing is, if she's some fake but website. it was yeah, some <laughs> website, <laughs> and they said where the share is an Instagram celebrity who earns between ten thousand US dollars to one million. US. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever no. owns that website is very smart. I yes, get to yes. drive some traffic when people search for mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah uh, and, and and things like that. But yes, <laughs> uh, I mean, one one thing was even more funny because. Uh, so I got a text message saying that the management wants them tend to take come off. Yeah. I uh, should delete it because uh, apparently 
they're in talks to have a, a deal with a, a, one of the uh, uh, phone networks. Network. Network. And so it doesn't look good for her right. to go and mention iPhone, blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, they had reached shots. And the, the whole... The, the, like, you know what? The, the, the money the is And I was like, it. what's going on? <laughs> and no, they actually the, did three interviews. Yeah, they did one I, at yen.com mm-hmm. okay. before they went back to... TV Africa to, to shoot and, 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 all of, and all of them to people the, and or there were there were problems with there's this one and that she had to recite the national anthem. It's strategic. People, I, you know, if they ask you to about, take it off, I don't think they want this bus. Oh, but they didn't take it off and they didn't die either. Because so, you have your other bra. No, but then, like I'm saying, uh, <laughs> they it works for them. That has it works for them. Then so. where is the new song? Yeah. That's all. Oh, yeah. Ghana before, Boys. Before, before you know... I think that's what she's doing. She's doing a press tour for the Before you know, the there's song. a new album called Network. <laughs> It's possible. It's Ghana. Anything All is right, possible. Alright, so let's move on to our it's next true, segment. It's true. Anything is possible. Let's move on to our next segment, which is our moment for the week. Are you going to leave that for me? No, we are not leaving it for oh, you. Oh, please. I'm the our boy, our guy, our man. You know how we do. Okay. Let's take it only for the panel. Maybe he should yeah, actually take it. Yeah, please take it. it. Alright, so like he hinted, it's a father moment. <laughs> yeah, so yes, our rapper... Uh, strong man burner. Our strong man, Iron Man, strong man rapper. What am I saying? Rapper. Yeah, you know he's the best at the moment. After he killed the man that saved our rap industry for the last 14 years <laughs> or so. Anyway, so strong man and the girlfriend that we all know as uh, Nana, Nana Man Strong. Yes, uh, you re- remember we, in one music video. Yes, the music video. The song, the song is her. about Nana Man, yeah. and, and she's short. The and then, like, yeah. that one, it showed her, her belly bum. Oh, well, yeah, her, her bum. bum, her bum. And, uh, Which you were so convinced was a fake. Yeah. For me, yeah. for me as I said in the office, uh, it, it's a fake. It's a, it, it looks fake. Yeah. Take it from somebody who, who, who has given birth Giving before. Giving birth, <laughs> it's, it's, it's strange. I mean. So anyway, so initia- finally, they have given birth. And, uh, Simona or Simona, Sen, Simona Laurentia or And uh, they posted it on, uh, on Instagram. That yeah. is, uh, Strong Boy posted it. Check this picture out. Uh, it is uh, our moment of the week, sorry. And it is oh. <laughs> Hey guys, you're welcome back. It's still trending GH. We hope you're having a conversation with us in the comment section right there. But you guys don't do a thing, so please do a please thing. Do. Stop commenting about the wigs and whatever. And <laughs> talk about the stories. We love you. Exactly. Yeah, I think important. they only do on Facebook. It's only Facebook that they sometimes interact with around us. the stories. Yeah. yeah well, right. this story, we really do need what you think about today. It's about Senor Jose. I don't know if you know him. He's the CEO of Ghana Chamber of Folk. Are you distributors? Who had a lot of things to say at the UG homecoming this year? Apparently, he's an alumni ambassador for the event, and he was given the chance to speak, and he went in a whole outburst on how the management of the university is full of mediocrity and are just old men who should be taking away so that fresh minds can come and manage the school. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To him, uh, the uh, the university is turning out students who are not thinkers but just degree holders and for him who has gotten all his three degrees in it from the University of Ghana and was employed by a Ghanaian he said he would never employ any of the students from the MBA or the business school because they are not thinkers I mean this raw answered a lot of reaction on social media he was <laughs> trending and Professor Jampo who happens to be JQ's favorite friend from afar <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. mean, he, he, he put him right yeah, in, a, in, a, in a way, we, we get what um, Senor is saying, and it's not just University of Ghana, exactly. a lot, a lot I of I think the... you oversimplified a very serious issue, it's not right. University yeah. of Ghana, it's I just think he, Ghana educational system. He, he, he generalized it, and that's, that's where I find a fault. He didn't it. generalize no, he it. Actually, he actually, he made it seem like everybody who comes up from that school is... Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, okay, that's okay. okay. That's okay. Very and uh, that, I don't think that's a fair comment. Yeah, yeah. and for someone who has three degrees from the university, you don't think mm-hmm. is so you are so you are, they, they, what how, how did they chant exactly. him out he, and he how, said nobody yeah, and somebody believed he, he may have you. he may have uh, uh was it like real issues that he pointed out which are legit yeah uh, yeah but he, i think the manner in which he did exactly. it even and even the, the tone the was i think that's what wrong. i think Jump some also things said. piled up and, there's a difference between yeah. uh constructive criticism he, and cynicism yeah, and, because he just he, he just had nothing positive or good to exactly. say. For and someone uh, who is, you yeah. know, cheering. Yeah, I don't even care if he didn't go to that place. 
period. He just didn't have exactly. And some of the things he said was say. quite shallow. Yeah. That there's a communications uh, school, and so they should have, and they should have made it advertise it or for something people. Like and that. the funny thing is, Professor Jump also pointed out he was late for the event, which had a field auditorium in the morning when mm-hmm. he was absent, which was late for. So he had no right to even say that. So basically, I think all he wanted to do was just sprue. Unquote, for all you know, answers. maybe, you know, um, the planning of the 70th anniversary, you know, behind closed doors, things went down, you know, mm-hmm. things so that yeah, went... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. uh, think it was more than just... Yeah, more than just we saw. And, 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 even if the institution is in a deplorable state, uh, there are people who are brilliant uh, yeah. and they are doing amazing things. Uh, yeah. So to generalize it in that regard example, hello. and make it <laughs> seem like every, <laughs> every, every person who wrote a thesis was... Uh, was able to do a good one because a TA, a TA helped them. Are you yeah. serious? There are people are who, who yeah, stay so. up all night to learn to and do something. Well, I mean, yeah, but of let's, two. let's forgive him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, if only social media will forgive him because yeah, they, they are trending. They are really been not letting go, him go, but they'll get something new. Let's move on to our next segment for this week, which is Shade of the Week. And I'm not giving it to the Shade King. I am picking this, this for myself. She loves it. <laughs> I love this shade. So we already discussed <laughs> when the Shade's net worth interview and how you know people responded to that. And mm-hmm. when we posted a video on our social media, the first person, um, you know, celebrity to jump in the comment section and spew his mouth mind was actor Prince, Prince David Jose. And if you all know Prince David Jose, Instagram comment section is his interview platform. He will tell you anything and whatever that's on his mind. <laughs> and the first thing he had to say was, is this the person appointed youth ambassador? Question shallow. mark two. So shallow. shallow. Okay. Wow. Fellow entertainer. <laughs> Can't you WhatsApp her and say <laughs> an advice her maybe do better? It's, in your it's a deep shade, but as if that shade was not enough. enough. Somebody, you know, no <laughs> one you you've done something. Somebody yeah. comes from nowhere and just slams it. But say compare baby to that I said, "Little Duku, if you all know Little Duku, could you shout in?" <laughs> I heard ambassador on Twitter. Little Duku says, "Um, let me hold on. Let me find Little Duku's shade." It's worth finding. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, the the um. David's comment was reported, and then Lil Duku takes to Twitter and said, "This really no need. He's receding her like like his acting career. career. First of all, his receding hairline is enough of a shade, <laughs> but to compare it to the acting <laughs> career, now, which that we is all know is total knockout. <laughs> that's <laughs> but I thought he recently won some international. Award. Please, wow. <laughs> Eddie. That's our shade of the week. Why? Hello, welcome back. And uh, people are coming back to town, yeah. coming back to Ghana. It's Every a week. Year, it's a year of return. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the past few weeks, uh, we've had uh, the Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson. We have the Harvey uh, family. Harvey, Steve Harvey and wife come through. And just this week, too, we've had uh, actor Danny Glover Over. coming. I mean, he's been coming quite often. I think the last time he came was like 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. And so uh, he's back f- uh, for specifically. Uh, James, Jamestown. To, James to Jamestown to Jamestown, which is a an event that started in Jamestown, Virginia, and then they are bringing it all the way to Jamestown yeah, here yeah. in Accra, and a lot of activities. Of course, if you want to know all about these activities, there's only one place. I mean, come Amir, on, log on to amiadebo.com and find out all the things that we'll be doing during this uh, year of return. Uh, this year has been quite interesting uh, for me as well. I think still on the year of return. I think. Uh, when Samuel Jackson came to town mm-hmm. with his China phone, he took a lot of pictures. Ah! Wow! <laughs> the, the people were, were not so happy because they felt, say, uh, as a black man coming to Africa, uh, where you know you grew up and people didn't paint so much positive a picture, picture about it. You picture would, about you once you were here, you had the opportunity to show just them the other side of highlight the some few things that would be exciting enough in that direction. And uh, so people have, were against him, uh, uh, lots of such comments on his post. And so I reached out to him on Twitter and said, you know what, uh, why, I want you to talk about it. And then he replied, uh, thankfully, he gave us our most read article uh, story this week. Yeah. Cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> it's a year of return. Cha-ching. It's a year of return, so you must, you, you must all make some money. Yeah. Uh, and uh, basically he replied to say that uh, he understands that uh, 
people enjoying good life and people share it all the time and for him he decided to share what caught his eyes yeah and so we shouldn't be too offended and he has nothing to talk about uh someone else replied whatever when she came back and said really <laughs> that was strong yeah one of the twitter yeah. users was like uh, really a day day Really? What do you mean day? I try my best. What do you mean? <laughs> anyway, so you can read all about it on our on our website. And also follow um us on social media. We have all the updates, the uh, arrivals, the, yeah. all those of coming all in for your friends. We are the yeah, unofficial activities. official media partners for, for your, your friends. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, we do it best. Okay. Yes, we do. <laughs> no, we do we, we, we do it best. Well, uh, let me no. tell you someone who uh. does burst. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and who does hottest. Yes. <laughs> Just the Momo for hot oh picks God. of the week. <gasps> and she you was confused. What? She said, is this a snack or a meal? Or is it a different one? This is a whole buffet. It was a different <laughs> one. <laughs> but regardless, this is a whole buffet. I mean, this for picture me, though. This buffet is way too much for me to snack on. Well, you're not the one snacking. Yeah, I am not snacking. <laughs> <laughs> not... But guys, we are all in one of, we don't know who's actually snacking, but let us just spy this buffet and think how hot it is the hotness of it it actually looks plastic like a plastic baby doll you know like the editing of the photo it looks nice no, it's okay thank you but it's hot well, like chicken bandaloo yeah ties look like chicken ties chicken bandaloo three thousand above <laughs> Jumping into our last story for this week, um, it was a huge deal on social media mm -hmm. and especially for the African communities who are living, you know, in mm -hmm. the in the states, whether UK or US, because it's something according to them they experience a lot. You know, yeah. um, taxi drivers who are in New York having people not pay them because they are black. So earlier this week, there was a video of a man who was fighting with three people. I've never seen one man against three, three. people. A woman with the strongest right hand job I've ever seen. But the video looked really scary, even though it had a lot of confidence. You know, as they were doing the back and forth, one ran back and then already had the knife um, in his shorts. He brought it out and then, just like, you know, I'm trying to punch you and quickly just punch it. <laughs> This quick one, it's like pew, and then went back. So I think initially the, the taxi driver didn't even know. He didn't even notice it because it was in the heat of the throwing the, the yeah. blow. So he didn't notice it. So I think when he later realized that it was like that video, um, was, that video was horrible. It was horrible, and we, we can we can show you the where way the blood was gushing out. It was it yeah. was like yeah. pure tar. Mm -hmm. You you know put a yeah. knife to it, just, just so much. And what was sad out. about the video is the fact that. Even when he was lying on the floor trying to, you know, gain some strength mm -hmm. or something, people had phones and were going as far Instead as his face to get his face and video. Instead of one helping. person just taking yeah. a yeah. phone and dialing. Something. Yeah. But in uh, the comment, I heard someone say, that go to the police. I think there was a policeman not too far away, so they were suggesting that. Anyway, long and short, the man is still alive, yeah. thankfully. People said uh, he was dead. That was the initial Saint, report. St. Barnabas Hospital, and the report suggests he's recovering. And, he's and actually, here. this incident happened as far back as August 5th, so at least some two clear, clear weeks ago. Uh, but then, of course, the video came out and an African person shared it and said Twitter should get it talking, Ghanaians Ghanian should get Twitter. it talking, so it went very far. Uh, I think the embassy, high commission, uh, in, in, the in, embassy in, in the US, US has come out to say uh, uh, the man is not Ghanaian as uh, Elia reported and so uh, yes, we can lay our, our heads to rest. Yeah. Uh, but what's most exciting one, he, is that he's still alive. He's still alive, he's still alive. Uh, and so, he's still uh, This nonsense must stop. Yeah, mm. and also please don't be um, a superhero or a, 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 cop, a, a exactly. cop in a day. I mean, no I matter mean, how huge the money yeah, is, you, you can just, do other trips to run it up yeah, rather than your so life. Sometimes you sometimes can escape. You should just let wisdom work and then. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. 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 Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. But we ain't going. We are now going to our last segment. Which is throwback of the week. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That you know the <laughs> fact that <laughs> she <laughs> stole <laughs> my shade of the week. Yeah. So, <laughs> so guess who is stealing the throwback of the week yeah. from her? Uh, Take it. 
Yeah, and this time I'm not even going to say when you were in the moon. Or yeah, that. just take it. <laughs> this time, I'll throw back as no, when. But now what we can say is when he was comfortable enough to go and buy Wache. Yes. yes. When was he? One of the stories around this man this week was the fact that he, uh, does, he can't go he and buy Wache anymore because of fame. fame so. Well, back then, according to Jay, he used to be the king of failure before he became King Promise. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is King Promise with trousers. That's and hair, it. more important. Hair! <laughs> that is the surprising one, the hair. And, and the, no, oh, command, uh, no command, no command, no boots, no shorts, no shorts, shorts, yeah. Can promise you come from far. You come from far. Hey, God's promise on you has worked. No wonder you are not promised, because you are <laughs> the promised state of your life. <laughs> anyway. Promised state doesn't have watch on it, but sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys. We are done for this week. We had so much fun bringing you all the trends. Please do not forget to tag us in any of the trends that goes around yeah. if you see on any social media. Yeah. That can fit in our segments that you yeah. think we should At show. At Amiel TV and then follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube is... Amiel TV official. Guys. And then jump on to www.amieldebrad.com.